Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're all absolutely spot on and thank you very much for watching this video. Now, I've been shopping. I've been to Aldi. Come and have a look what I've got. So look at this. I'm new. Plant menu 10. No pork. Streaky bacon rashers. Made with pea protein. Look at that source of protein. Well, look at them. What do you think of them? And it was two pounds and 19 pence. So I'm going to give them a go. I'm going to give them a whirl. It says I'm new from Aldi. I had to get them. I had to try them. Well, I'm going to try them. So let's get them open and see what we have got. So let's have a look, see if this works. Oh, look at that. Look at that. There we go. That, that is them. Let me get a bit of better light for you. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> this is that. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So I'm not going to judge until I've tried it. I'm not going to judge until I've tried it. It's got that aroma of like smokiness, sort of streakiness. Yeah, it's definitely got the, um, it's got that smell. It's got that smell of bacon. <laughs> I did the oomph kebab. Um, I bought that because I thought it was kebab meat and it wasn't. It was oomph kebab. It was um, a pea protein, exactly the same. And I actually didn't mind it. I didn't mind it at all. If you want to check that video out. So let's have a look at the nutritional information. There we go. Two slices. Is 60 calories. You want to pause that and have a look at that? By all means. Uh, and they are the ingredients as well. If you want to have a look at them ingredients. Pause them and have a look. One, a couple of allergies. We've got barley and wheat. And it comes in at 180 grams. So I'm going to shallow fry them. Three to five minutes. Heat a little oil in a frying pan. Uh, on a medium heat, fry rashes for three to five minutes. Turn frequently. So let's... Let's give them a go and see, eh? Let's not judge a book. Let's not judge... What is it? What's that soul saying? Let's not judge a book by its cover. That's the one. Until we've tried them. So, let's get this pan on. So, medium heat. Medium heat. I'm going to put some oil. I'm going to put some oil in there now. I'm going to use a bit of rapeseed oil. I got that from Aldi as well. Cold pressed rapeseed oil. So here they are, this is them. Let's get them on, let's try and get one out and have a look at it and show you. So there we go, look. That is them. <laughs> so I'm gonna put three in. I would normally have, well, it's like streaky, if it's streaky bacon, isn't it? I'll do four, because it might shrink. So there we go, have a look at that. I'll turn the heat down. I'll just turn it down on low. I've set the timer for three minutes because I've never cooked this before, but I've got an idea how it's going to go. Cooking away nicely there, isn't it? So if you like this kind of um, content, this video, please give the video a thumbs up. And if you've not subscribed, then Hit that subscribe button and the bell icon and you won't miss any of my videos. And please leave a comment. Let me know if you've had this before. Um, I'll talk about it in a minute. Plant menu. Let me know if you've had this before and see what you think of it. I've never had it before. But I'm going to give it a whirl. I like to always try new stuff. Because that's what it's all about, isn't it? See if it's any good. That's how I've always been like that. Yeah, so there we go. <laughs> I'll just turn her up a little bit. There we go. So, I'll bring you back in a second or two. So I like mine quite, well, I like it crispy, to be honest. I don't like it gelatinous. And I like it nice and crisp. So I'm going to try and get this crispy. I'm going to try and replicate how I have bacon. 
I've popped some toast in the toaster. Um, so that's going. So just reading the back there, it says wheat and pea protein rashers with added smoky flavour. That's the smell I'm getting through. So that, that this is that, look at that. <laughs> so it's getting there now, my bacon's getting crispy, look. It's just getting crispy on the edges, look. So what I'm going to do, three minutes has been up as well, I set a timer. I'm going to get it out. So there we go, this is that. That is that, let me get a bit of better light for you, there we go. <laughs> Look at that. It's different, isn't it? So let's try it, see what it tastes like. I'll get a less crispy bit. No. Oh. I mean... It's only just eatable. Is that a word? <laughs> um... Yeah, I mean, you're not going to replicate bacon, are you? Let's be fair. Let's get this out. Of the, let's get this straight away. You're not going to replicate bacon. You can't. And uh, that attempt at it is not not good for me. It's not good. I don't like it at all. It's the mouthfeel of bacon. It's it's not there. It's the same as bacon. It just. I'm going to try some more. I'm not. You know, let's try some more. Let's not mess about. But I think you all know that I don't like it. Right. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put it in a sandwich with some ketchup. And see if we can sort of get it like. I mean, it's not salty. There's a smokiness there. The consistency is... It's just not good. I mean... Let's, let's try and put it in a sandwich. And let's try and make some of it at least. <laughs> um, get a load of ketchup over it. And let's see if we can sort of like... Now in a sandwich with toast, loads of butter, loads of ketchup, I can eat that. It's edible, that was the word, not eatable. I can eat that now. I'm getting the smoky flavour through and I'm not getting much of the texture of the bacon because it's obviously all caught up with the, the toast and the, and the butter and the ketchup. But I'm getting the smokiness through that, that you would with bacon. So that is edible. It's edible like that. But on its own, you know, I think my mind's trying to replicate bacon and it's just not working. It's not going to work as well. It's, it's, it's a crazy one, this one. It really is a crazy one. But if you, if you don't eat bacon, I can see why you'd buy this. Obviously, if you put it in a sandwich, like I just explained, it, it's passable. Only just passable. But, you know, nothing beats bacon, does it? But I'm not a vegetarian, so I've got to be sort of like... A neutral however this isn't for me uh, I wouldn't buy it if I was a vegetarian I would shop have a look see if there's anything else on the market that replicates it a bit better it's not a it's not a really poor effort it's just because I'm so used to bacon I just can't get my head around it if that makes any sense so um it's gonna be, I can't I really judge it as market really because I've, I've never tried I've not tried other bacons other Substitute, so I, yeah, I would be giving it an unfair, an unfair mark. 
So just try it yourself. I'll leave this one open. Let me know what you think about this one. Let me know. And if there's any more alternatives which are better or better tasting and you've had them, let me know and I'll get them and I'll do a sort of comparison. So thanks very much for watching. I do appreciate that. Take care, all the best, and I'll catch you on the next one.